Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Space Time from Tom Elderfield. What is it? Uh, basically, it's a single card. You punch a hole in it with a hole punch, and then through the wave of your hand and some mystical incantations, you're able to move the hole visually around the card. You wanna see what it looks like? This is it. There's been many moving hole plots in magic, but nothing like this. A card is selected, and you punch a hole in it. Now that hole visually moves to different parts of the card. And get this, you can see both sides of the card. You'll get to learn multiple routines, all of which are perfect for walk-arounds and close-up. There's no threads, no flaps, no magnets, and the effect resets in an instant. Okay, I'm gonna put your card that you signed, you could have picked any one, I'm gonna put it right here in your hand, I want you to put your hand on top, like that, okay? So put your hand on top, just don't move. I want you to pick wherever you want on the back of the card. Right here? Yeah. Okay, here. We'll make the whole travel up, like that. Holy <laughs> sh**. What the <laughs> We could even take the whole off. We'll drop it on your, your card. <laughs> Check it out. What the <laughs> Hold up, hold up. <laughs> I simply don't understand how I signed this card and there was no hole in it. Now I got a hole in it. Now I'm going to I'm going to have bad dreams tonight. Get ready to warp reality. All right, so that was Tom Elderfield. You might remember he also did Helix. He did TNR Corner. He also did Upheld. He also did Twister. This has been released by the fine people down at Murphy's Magic. And we want to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic props, and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? It's a real box. It's a real cardboard, hard-shelled box. Uh, and inside this, you're going to get the download code to the video, it's 46 minutes long, and you're gonna get the gimmick. And the gimmick is already constructed and it is already made and you're ready to go. Is it what I thought? Yes and no. Uh, I've owned some moving hole gimmicks in the past. Um, I, I used, I've owned one, I own hollow. Um, and it's, uh, maybe it's similar. I mean, how else would you do a moving hole trick, okay? So, there, you, you kind of say, yeah, that's about how I thought it would be. So, it, it's kind of what I thought it would be. Uh, wasn't too surprised. Love the gimmick. I think it's really well made. How are the angles on this? How are the angles? Um, there's probably some issues. There are some slight tells within the construction of the gimmick. So you just have to be wary of where you stand, your lighting, and probably where your spectators are. But I don't think it's bad at all. Can it be inspected? Absolutely not. Um, but, of course, through the process of the trick, you should be doing a switch and handing back an unblemished card. So, in the end, if you've done the trick convincingly, there shouldn't be anything to find because you've wrung out that gimmick and you've brought in uh, a fresh card. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? It's great. Uh, it's everything you'd expect from Murphy's Magic. Well shot, well lit, HD, there's great live performances. Uh, Tom walks you through everything you need to know. Is it well made? Very well made. I'm glad I did not have to make this myself. Tom ab absolutely says in the video how to use it. And so he gives you very, distinct direction. Uh, you you got to listen to what he says. You got to listen to the teaching. You can't just take this out of the box and say, I know how to do this. You, you got to follow the directions, okay? Because I can't see how you would make this any better. Uh, I think it's really well made. I think it's a really great problem. How much practice does it require? I think this goes a little bit in with, is it well made? There is a feel to the gimmick. There's a feel to it. Partly muscle memory, and it's partly just, this is how I know it should be. Like you've done this so often, you know it's right. And so to get to that point, I think is gonna take you some practice. To get to that point where you just know this is where it's gonna stay, this is where it looks good, it, that is only gonna take time. And I don't expect that you're just gonna be able to whip this out of the box and start doing it for your friends in 10 minutes. How much sped up and reset is there? It's instantaneous. There's really nothing to reset. I mean, as fast as you got into it is as fast as to get out of it. All right, so what are the positives to space time? Uh, like I said, I, it, it's a familiar trick already to some magicians, and so I think this is a nice upgrade. I think this is a nice facelift. Uh, so it definitely kind of brings that uh, trick uh, 
into a, a new era. I love the fact that the hole moves around the card. I love the fact that you can reset it back to zero. I love the little added bonus of moving the hole completely off the card and moving it to a, a different location. I think all of those are really great. Um, it's not a hard trick to follow either for a spectator. It's very easy to follow. It's very easy to grasp. There's not a lot to explain or, or you know, so I think visually it's great. It looks like real magic. This is a great, great trick. All right, so what are the negatives to space time? Uh, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. I think that there are people that will think that it doesn't stay in place, that the gimmick moves when it shouldn't, or it doesn't lock where it's supposed to. And you know, one side doesn't fit all. Your gimmick is probably not gonna look like the gimmick you see in the video. Your gimmick might not look like my gimmick. I mean, you're punching a hole in a card, so how, how straightforward can that be? Every gimmick's gonna look and feel a little differently. And so I think before you toss it aside and say, oh, this doesn't work for me, I think you need to spend more time in the practice room and get it to where you can do this trick well. Is it worth your money? It's $25. $25, 46 minutes of instruction, and you get a gimmick that's completely well made and completely done for you, absolutely, this is money well spent. All right, who would like this? Anybody that likes Sword and Restored Magic, anybody that has done uh, maybe Hollow in the past and they want to upgrade to it, uh, people that like this kind of out of the box thinking, people that do walk around, people that do street magic, I think would definitely like Space Time from Tom Elderfield and Murphy's Magic. All right, so that is my review for Space Time from Tom Elderfield. And if you'd like to pick up your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.